So Kelsey is going to bring us Flash. She said either Thursday or Saturday she's going to let us know. Okay. Oh, if, she's going to let us know. Yeah. Oh. Hello. Hello, friends. Imagine that. Sprinkles and Comstock hanging out. Hmm. Oh, we're going to go fix the fence that got messed up by the girls pushing up against it and thus eating the garden. So I've kind of figured out what I'm going to do. My plan is, is that I'm just going to try and start some more kale. And I had a ton of romaine seeds from my plant. If um, you were following me on Instagram, you saw I was harvesting a bunch of them. So I am going to try and get some of those romaine seeds growing. Susie, gets over here in the corner. Eh, don't you dare, young lady. I see your look on your face. I see the look on your face. You're like, oh, let me come get some tender vittles. Not happening. Not happening. No more hung no more vittles for you. Did you just realize that we cut you off? Yeah, we cut you off. We cut you off from your greenery. Sorry, Bandit. You lose. Now they're sitting in the ashes. Do you think it's, maybe it's still warm. Maybe. Does that feel good? But do you see, they're like boyfriend, girlfriend now. Yep. They're like totally in love with each other. Ain't nothing gonna come of this relationship. You realize that, right? I'm just kidding, the illusion. You guys are so funny. How's it make you feel, Mama? Your arch nemesis and your son together? Are you cool? Too cool for me now? Sorry, I'm just talking to you. Oh, okay. So, are you prepared for the fact that? Flash may breed like six of our does. I mean, five of our does. More food. <laughs> I mean, huh? Huh? I mean, technically, we could eat them. We'll eat half of them and then sell the others. Eat, so. eat half and sell the other half. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be perfect. I think mean, that's a great idea. So I'm hoping that if we start feeding the chickens a little bit more, especially before we move them over here, that Maybe we'll get a little bit more protection as opposed to zero. And let's also check on their water and make sure that their water's. Yeah, probably need more water. Well, hello. Hello there. Look at our trees. No, yeah, they're all in fall now. We just gotta. come by and prune everything. I noticed there's, these, is this a lot of the crumble on the ground here? I don't know, probably extra. Did it rain while we were gone? No, it didn't. But this house needs some love. We need to clean that out. You're going to be much happier now. What are you looking forward to most to about having them over on our side of the house? I don't know, have them closer and not just walk all the way up again. Yeah, the convenience of... I don't want to say lazy years, but um... <laughs> uh, easier. Easier. This. Working yeah. smarter, not harder? Sure. <laughs> Yeah, I definitely think they're going to be happier with that amount of bedding all over. Sebastian, are you helping Dada? Are you helping Dada do the dishes? You're doing a good job. Yeah, you're getting that all clean. 
Yeah, you're so helpful. I'm gonna go and try and put a couple of seeds in the ground. I've been saving these romaine seeds, so we're going to try and see if there's anything we can do to harvest these or grow these. And maybe we'll get something, maybe we won't. But we are going to try. And we won't know unless we try. So we fixed the gate earlier. And now we, I know that these girls can't not get back in here. Yes, I'm looking at you. <laughs> we, um, we put sea nails all the way around. We had one spot that didn't have sea nails in it and that was the one spot that they ripped open. So now everything is secure. So let's get these in the ground. It feels really weird to be planting in December or trying to plant, but I never know unless I try. So, I'm gonna give it a go. That takes care of that. We aren't expecting any freezing temperatures until Sunday. So we got about four more days and I'm thinking I'll put the cover back on on Saturday and then it'll probably stay on for the rest of the winter because obviously it's supposed to be cold and I'm trying to grow something but I don't know we might be successful we might not but I'm sticking with it if I don't try it I'll never know so I'm gonna try it, figure it out. Maybe even start something in our greenhouse. Maybe that'll work too. So, another adventure here at the Ready Roost. Zeke, where are we going today? We're gonna go pick up a goat. But which goat are we picking up? Oh, an unneutered male goat. And what, what's his name? His name is Flash. <laughs> Flash. <laughs> Uh, sorry, I had to, I had to. Where's Flash? Flash. Oh, did you hear, did you see him? Hi, buddy. Oh, he is just adorable. Yeah, he, the does all really like him. I mean, he's very, he gets along really well with everyone. Oh, that's awesome. How are you doing, bud? How are you doing? You're a cute boy. Oh, yeah. Our girls are going to love you. Oh, my goodness. You are handsome. Yeah, you're fluffy. Sir, come on, come on. Are you ladies interested in what's going on? Hmm?
Go say hello to your new friends for a little bit. Comstock's like, um, excuse me. Excuse me. I am not, I am not pleased with this situation. Bandit's like, hello? Came to check on our boy Flash and he immediately starts saying hello to me. Immediately. How are you doing, little guy? Are you having fun? Are you having fun? Can you come say hi to me? Hi. Hi, cute boy. Oh my gosh, you are so cute. You are so cute. Little Flash here. He's, uh, he's eight months old. And... He comes to us from our friend Ashley. She's letting us borrow him for a little bit. And if you know anything about goats, and especially boy goats, uh, they kind of do this disgusting thing. They, uh, they pee on themselves, pee on their face. And <laughs> somehow <laughs> that attracts the ladies. <laughs> I really don't know how, but I'm really glad men don't do that. Male men, human men don't do that. <laughs> there's, there's Bandit. She, I don't think she's happy about this situation. I don't think she's happy with having our little visitor here, but that's okay. That's okay. So our plan is, is that he's going to stay for a couple days. We've got five available does here. Hopefully he'll make a connection with at least one of them. And then we will end up with some babies. Uh, they will be here. It's, it's the beginning of December. So end of April, beginning of May is what I'm thinking. Uh, the last time that we bred, the, we tr attempted to breed three of our does. We ended up with only one taking and that was Bandit who's back there. And she ended up having two kids, uh, a boy and a girl, and she, we exposed them in the beginning of November last year, and then we ended up having babies the end of March. Uh, we were expecting the beginning of April, but it ended up being uh, about a week early, so it was the end of March. And that was really fun for our first time, but we sure do love our goats, even though they are very mischievous, but they're a lot of fun to have, and we're looking forward to getting some more goat milk and hopefully if everything works out right we'll end up with at least two of them being able to be milked uh, this spring which would be awesome so if you have any questions about goats or anything to do with our homestead go ahead and leave that in the comments and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more from our homestead please go ahead and subscribe from here all of us here at the Rowdy Roost Hope you have a great rest of your day.